Hi everyone, welcome. So today, what I want to look at is doing some faux metal embellishments for your junk journals. So these are some of the things that I put together. Um, I ordered uh, some die cuts. Um, I got these from Amazon and uh, that's how I got a uh, specific labels that you that you see here but um how did i get the finish uh to give it that uh metal like look so that's what i want to look at today um so we can begin with this one um i cut out uh using i cut this out using a very heavy uh, the thick cardstock so let me push all of these things out of the way. We'll come back to these. This is a heavy cardstock that I cut out. And what I did was I took some uh, folk art metallic antique copper and painted over it. So let me put some gloves on and we'll get to work on these things. And I'll do a few things at a time instead of one thing at a time. The way that I created the heart, I really love how the uh, heart came out. It can be a, a dangle in your, in your junk journal. First, I cut out the heart. Um, then I embossed the heart and uh, used the... Um, the big kahuna here <laughs> that I call it to... Uh, put a hole uh, in it. And then um, these are again, the die cuts that I, that I purchased. And these little uh, swirl embellishments, these are also uh, die cuts. So I'm gonna do a few things um, at a time. Okay, so I'm using this, it's a metallic, paint and this one is the antique copper i'm also going to use uh this one is bronze and it's also a metallic and you'll need a black a black uh, ink pad that you use for stamping and then uh some of the glossy mod podge is what you'll also need okay so let's get started to get this uh, finish, um, that's going to be the antique copper. And I find that things go so much faster just using my fingers. So you're just gonna brush that on very quickly with your fingers. And that's done. And that one is done. This one is done. And we'll do this one. I'm just going to mimic what I did there. We'll do this one in this color. Try to keep these things moving so they don't get stuck. And then we'll do uh, the last one in the bronze. Let me just wipe off my gloves so I don't mix the paint. And just want to take a little bit off of that. Okay. So let's get some of this paint. And we don't need a lot.
Okay, so once you've got that coat of metallic paint on there, the next thing you're going to do to give it a more aged look, clean your gloves off. You can, you can use the same gloves, just wipe them off. The paint dries pretty, pretty quickly. What you're going to do is you're going to tap a little bit of that black ink and tap that onto your image. Not your image, your, uh, your shape. And then you'll see it start to look a little bit more older, a little, a little more worn. And while that's still somewhat wet, you're going to get your glossy Mod Podge Get some of that out. And then rub it around and it starts to blend those things around. And then you kind of get that weathered look. So it looks a little bit, it looks a little more aged now. It's sticking to me. <laughs> okay. And remember to keep these things moving so they don't stick. So while we're waiting for those to dry, we'll move on to the next set that's been painted. And again, you don't have to change your gloves. same finger with the black ink and I'm just dabbing a little bit of that black ink on there and I'll get a little bit dabbed on this one as well and then I'm going to go back to my Mod Podge start rolling that around things start to mix up a little bit more and it gives it a an older finish I like this particular color it looks like a an old penny like a, a it's a glue so keep it moving so it doesn't stick This doesn't feel tacky. It dried pretty quickly. So I'm going to use uh, my glue. And 
just get around the edges very quickly. A little in the middle. Stick these two together. And when these dried, what I did was I ran it along the edge of the, uh, you can run it along the edge of, of this, or you can run it along the edge of one of your darker stains. Uh, with the heart, you, you can get the center here, just doing something like that to get that coated with something dark. And that's it. So once these things are dry, you would add your, your words on the back. And what I really liked, uh, I like the way these came out. Um, it's like a gate almost. So if you have a junk journal or your junk journal, uh, your junk journal inserts. Let's say you have, oh, a, a journal card and uh, you wanna give it like a, a metal gate finish. You could uh, stick this down. I think that's kind of pretty. And then uh, there's a journal space on the back. Um, I also did some of these flourishes which I think uh, would also be a nice addition to your journal. Um, you could uh, stick that down. And I think it would be a really pretty addition uh, to your journals. So that's pretty much it. That's uh, how I did it. Uh, pretty quick, pretty easy to do. These things, they, they dry uh, pretty quickly, but remember to keep them moving so they don't get stuck. And uh, let's just uh, take a quick look at these uh, one last time. So I'll line these up for you so you can see them. Have fun with this. Take care, everybody. And I will see you next time. Bye.